Hello and welcome to part three of this series. In the past couple of videos, we created a list of users and we displayed that. And then the last video, we filtered that down. So we're gonna continue where we left off. This is part three again. Uh, we have our person class. Actually, let me explain what we're gonna do. So in this video, we're gonna create a list of articles because we're working on an RSS reader write, but they're gonna have different types. Like if, if you think of a Facebook news feed, all, all items aren't the same. Some are video, some are text, some are maybe audio, some are maybe a gallery view. So we're going to display a list of store RSS stories here, but we're gonna feature some as video, some as text. Um, it's probably gonna be best to just explain. So open up Android Studio and let's go ahead and let's just create a new class, a uh, new Kotlin class file and we'll call this, actually this will be a data class and we'll call this RSS, um, we'll call this RSS item. Make it kind of, you know, very generic. And so we've already created our person um, data class. We're gonna do the same thing for this, but instead we're gonna do a val, we'll do this title string, then we'll do val content or yeah, we'll do text, string, and then we'll do one more. We'll do val um, data, we'll do actually just type, and that'll be a string. So this should be fairly, exp um, should explain itself. This one is just going to um, be the title, this is the text, and this is our type. So this is gonna be either, you know, a st um, either a video story or maybe a text story. This will make more sense once we actually use this. So we have our RSS item. Let's go back to here, and I know we filtered out users. Um, let's just comment that out for now. You can do command and then the, uh, command and then that item, the forward slash, that'll comment it out. Actually, I'm gonna comment all of that out actually. Um, and we're not, this is, that was very useful to learn. We're not gonna use it right now. So we'll make, let's make a new list. Val, we'll call it RS items, RSS items equals the list of, and then we'll create a new list of our RSS item, RS item, and we'll just feed it a couple. Command P, we'll do um, welcome to my blog. And the text, we'll just write something random in there. And then for the type, we'll put video. So we have that. Let's create a couple of items. I'm just going to put a comma there. And I'll duplicate that a number of times just so we have some kind of list that we can play with. And we're actually going to use this for our items here now. This is going to be what we use in real life. And if you do uh, F2, that'll take us to an error. And this won't run actually. If you try to run it with run, run, or control R, it'll just error out. I won't even run it. So, what we need to do is we need to actually update this card view to actually, let's just create a new, let's create a new um, composable function altogether. So, we have our RSS items, and what we get is an RSS item. So, let's go ahead and just delete that. And let's do, um, let's do RSS item uh, text. And we'll pass it to there. And of course this function doesn't exist yet. So just copy that and go back to the bottom and do composable and function like that. And here we are. And we actually have an error. So just like in the first video where we had to um, pass it a data type like there. In this area, we have to pass it, um, we have to pass it an RSS item. You can click on there, do option enter, and the first item to add a parameter there. And that just essentially um, adds that to it. So it's actually passing an item. So we'll just call this item, because we want to make it, uh, no, I'll just call it RSS item, just so it's very, very clear. And let's put an enter there. Okay, so if we run this, it should run, but it's not actually gonna display anything except for that because we haven't actually created something. So let's just create something really quickly. Let's do, um, here, let's do this. Let's make a card. 
and I actually already have a card from a previous video. I'm just gonna copy that card and I'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna close it like that. So we have our outer item and then we have our inner item and let's just uh, also copy our text again, just a random text. Let's put it inside of there just so we have something and instead of person, we actually have RSS item. So RS item dot title. And that'll be the title of our RSS story item that we're gonna place. So we have it, welcome to my blog, welcome to my blog. And let's say we want to, um, I think we can do dot size uh, text um, font, I forget which one it is. We'll just leave it as is for now, or si size font size, I think if we can do this. Um, what does it want? 24, I think we can do that. Nope, we'll just leave it as is. I'll work on that later. I wasn't, I was just playing around. I also haven't used Compose a whole lot myself, so I'm still figuring it out. Okay, so we have this, and so let's go ahead and actually add 24 dp there to our padding. And there, we, there are items there. So let's do one more. We'll do 12 dp there. Okay, great. So here is our, this is an item for a text. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. No, this, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm stalling a little bit here. So let's do this. Let's create a, so we want, so we want, that's a text, 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 text. Let's say we want the third item to be a video. So let's do this. So let's go here and for our third item, let's change this to, actually, those are all text, sorry. Let's change that to text, text, text. And the third one will be a video. So if you run this, it just all displays the text, the text item. But for the video, we want that to be a big video. So what we can do is we can do this. We have access to our RSS item with it. So we'll do if it dot type, uh, sorry, type equals video. We'll do something else if it's dot type equals video we'll do something else so let's put that inside of there and let's go ahead and save that and run it and we only have three items because um, three of the items up here are for text and one is video so let's create our video kind of card there and we'll go ahead and copy and paste that in there but instead, let's call it an RSS item text. Let's call it RSS item video. And we don't have that. So actually, let's just copy what we have at the bottom here. So we have all of this composable. I'm just gonna paste it once, then paste it again. And again, you can't have two items with the exact same name. In this case, we just wanna change it to video. And everything should work out just fine. So if I run that, we should have four items, and we do. But um, for our video item, what we want to do, we actually want to, instead of displaying the title up there, say we want to display a big image. So we actually have an image up here we can borrow. And where's the image? Here it is. I'm just going to borrow this. We created this in the first video, I think. I'm just going to paste the video in there. And let's do for width, let's do make it really big, 300. 300 and again if this is all confusing go back to the first video because we created this in the first video we created this um, Card view up there. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to run this and There we are. So it kind of looks like more of a Facebook new style feed where we have our items which is for text and ones for video and let's say we want to create even a third type um, I want to do something. Let's go ahead and do this right, right now. So if you'll notice for our RSS item, we can literally type anything right there. What we want to do is we want to change the type of this from a string to something else. So let's do this. Let's go enum class 
and we'll call this class RSS type. And type will have video, text, video, and photo. We'll have three different types. And so we're not actually using that. Let's use it right there. So now our type has to be either a text, video, or a photo. And this is a very good convention when you have something that has to be only one of a few different types. In this case, this works out perfectly. This could be um, contacts, maybe a title and a text or something like that. But in this case, we'll do text, video, and photo. So our feed, our RSS feed is gonna have different data types and we'll determine that at some point. And it's giving us a bunch of errors here because it needs RSS type. So what we can do is RSS type dot, I'll type it out, type dot text. We'll do that. And I'm just going to copy this for a number of other items. And this type will change this one to video. There we go. And it's giving us an error, so you can do F2, and that'll take it down here. And so in this case, it's basically saying that our if statement, um, it's it's trying to, this is this used to be a string, but now we just need to change that to RSS type dot text for there. And this one, if the type is RSS dot video. Okay, there we go. So we'll loop through our items there, and that's their outer loop. And then inside of there, we'll do an if statement. If the type is, if the type of the current item is text, we'll do call that function. Otherwise, we'll do this. So this is a ba basic if statement. You can do however many else you want to. If it's photo, if it's video, if it's an ad, if, if it's a title, if it's a link, whatever you can do. And you can experiment with that on your own. But this is basically just an if statement. If, if, so if that is true, it'll do that. And if that is true, it will do this. And in this case, we changed RSS item video and RSS item text. So I think this should run and it should be exactly the same. There we go. And just so it's clear, what we can do is we can come down to the bottom and um, we'll do for our RSS item video, we'll do text and we'll do text equals click below to play video, just so it's very clear that this is in fact, oh, actually, I get, well, so, and again, design, we're not working on design so much right now. We'll do that maybe later, modifier dot, modifier dot padding, and we'll do 12 dot DP just to get some random padding in there. Here we go. So we have different data types. That's for maybe a news article, and this is if the RSS feed has a video, you can play the video. And I think we actually had another type. I think if we go back to RSS item, yeah, we had photo. And so actually we'll name this image instead. Image, that's probably a better name. So say the news story is some world event and it is, uh, and there's a photo that goes along with it. Well, we can just do the same thing. And I'm just gonna duplicate this with commands D a bunch of times just so we have some more items to play with. And we'll do the next from bottom one. We'll change it from text to Fo, yeah, we changed image, sorry, <laughs> image. So here we go, we change that to image. And if we run this, you'll notice that, yeah, we have some items we can scroll there, but we're not actually, we don't actually see our, we don't actually see our photo there. So what is wrong? And what is wrong is, or what doesn't work right now currently is that we don't have an else if for our photo. So we can basically copy that and do this. If type is image, then we can do an RSS. We'll call a function. We'll do that. We'll call the function RSS item image. And we don't currently have that. So let's again go to the bottom one more time. And we're just going to all this code for RSS item video. We're going to copy and paste it a couple of times. And again, you can't have two items with the same name, so that can't be the same as that. So we'll just change this to image. And just so we know what we're doing, we'll do um, photo below like that. 
and I'll save it and I'll run it. And there we go. So we have our text type. That's a news story with just a text. We have our type where we can play a video and you click on that video to play the video. Then we have our photo. So notice how it says photo below. That's how we can confirm that it's actually using the image type and not the text or video type. So I think that's all I want to cover in this video. This video is officially done now. You can go to the next video um, if you want. But if you want to stick around for a couple more minutes and I'll explain. Um, if something was confusing, I'll go ahead and explain. But the video is officially over. So first what we did is we created a new data class. And you just create a data class with data class. You name it anything you want to name it. And we created some new items in there. Um, so this type, we initially made it a string, uh, and the string you, where you can literally just type out whatever you want. But to kind of enforce a more strict type, we created an enum class. And this basically says this field needs to be, this type field needs to be either a text, video, or image. You, you can't, you can't, um, you can't just, where is it? Up here, you can't just make up, like you can't type in, you can't accidentally mess it up. Like if you put ASDF, it's not even going to run. Like this code will just fail out. So it's a way where it can make it where it's very easy to know which type it is. So, um, okay, so we have that, we use a type there and we deleted our list of people up there. We created a new list of RSS items and just created a bunch of items. And the next interesting thing is when we loop over our RSS items, and again, that's we get a single RSS item, we basically do an if statement, if, else, or else, and we do each else for text, video, or photo. And this right here can be called anything, but it just needs to match the function name. So say RSS item video, and we are actually not even using it right now, but um, this just needs to match. You can call that whatever you want to. You can call it ASDF, and if we go to an error, we can literally type ASDF. You can type whatever you want. In this case, I typed it RSS item video, just so we kind of stick to something that's memorable and something that we can work with. And actually, if we go back up here, I have, yeah, we created first an RSS item type, sorry, an RSS item text, an RSS item video, and an RSS item image. And so these are just composable functions. To write a composable um, function, you just add the annotation, the at sign composable, and then you type the fun symbol, and then whatever you want, and that accepts an RSS item, and yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully not too confusing. We didn't really do a whole lot in this video. And actually one thing you'll notice, so if you go to our card view, we created this in the first video, it'll tell you it's actually never used. So you can actually do safe delete and delete it, or you can just select it all and delete it. Um, we, were, we were using that to kind of test something out. I'll go ahead and keep it there for now, just so we have something, but um, that's it. That's a, So yeah, so the past couple of minutes, just a more in-depth explanation of what's going on behind the curtain. And I'll see you in the next video.